Hardware failure happens. It's just a fact of life in the world of IT. And it's no fun when it does happen because we're usually left scrambling to get our databases back online. The number one thing we can do to protect ourselves from failed storage scenarios is to have a solid backup strategy. So in this nugget, we're going to look at how backups work in Azure SQL Database and how we can use the Azure Blob Storage Service to back up our on-premise databases to the cloud. Let's begin by looking at how backups work in Azure SQL Database. Here I have a database called NLDB, and if we head into it, you'll notice that there aren't any backup options in here anywhere. And that's because it's all handled automatically for us. The service automatically takes full differential and transaction log backups, giving us the ability to restore at any point in time at any time. Transaction log backups occur every 5 to 10 minutes. Differentials occur every 12 hours. These backups are also replicated on read access geo redundant storage. So there's very little chance that we lose our backup files. About the only thing we need to worry about here is user error, right? Somebody blew away a bunch of objects or data, which would prompt us to do a restore, which is incredibly simple. We hit the restore button up here, choose our point in time, our database name, our server, hit OK, and we'll be back to that point in time in a new database. Now, when it comes to SQL Server running in Azure VMs, we have quite a few options available to us. Of course, all the options that you would normally use in your on-prem environments, we can create our own backup strategy manually, automate it using SQL Server Agent. We can back up to Azure Storage and the Blob Storage Service. Or there's another fairly new feature here. If we head into our SQL Nug virtual machine and head down here to backup, we can use the Azure Recovery Services Vault to store these backups and automate it entirely here using the portal. The benefit of doing this is we have one centralized location in the cloud, not only for storing our backups, but also for the backup process itself, because we can point many of our VMs to this vault. Plus, we don't have to worry about designing and building our own backup processes. Not to mention, it's incredibly easy to configure. Give it a name, specify your resource group, and then set up your backup policy, which includes the frequency, how long you want to keep those backups around, and then we can utilize this again from all of our other SQL Server VMs running in Azure. Everything else is automatic. Another backup option that we can utilize from both our Azure SQL Server VMs as well as our on-premise SQL Server is backing up to the Azure Blob Storage Service, and this gives us a lot more control over the process. So let's take a look at how this works. Here we are on our on-prem machine. Let's head into Management Studio. I'll right click on our AdventureWorks database here, head into Tasks, and choose Backup. Here we have all of our standard backup options, but instead of backing it up to a disk, we're going to drop this down and choose URL. We'll hit Add here. I'll hit New Container, and we'll sign in to Azure. From here, we choose our storage account. I created one called SQL Nug Storage, and within there, we have a container that I created called Backups. And we can even generate the credential here on the fly, which will save our shared access signature within that credential. We hit OK. We can give our backup a name and hit OK. And there we go. Now we hit OK, and we've just taken a backup, stored in a container in the Azure Blob Storage Service. And there it is, all set. So at this point, we could script out our entire backup strategy, place it inside of a SQL Server agent job, and automate it going forward. Let's verify that made it up there to Azure. So we'll flip back up here to the web portal. Here is that storage account. We'll head into blobs here. There's that container for backups, and there is that backup. So failed storage is less of a worry these days with all of the backup options available to us across all of these environments. In this CBT Nugget, we covered how backups work in Azure SQL Database, how to backup entire virtual machines using the Azure Recovery Services Vault, and how to backup individual databases to the Azure Blob Storage Service. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.